Hey everybody, PC Attic back here with you again. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about SSD drives and one thing you want to pay attention to when you're buying one. Um, you don't have to, but it would be nice to know the definitions and some of the stuff to look for when you're buying an SSD drive. And the main thing is, is it SLC, is it MLC, or is it TLC? Do you guys know? Hopefully if you buy SSD drives, you know what you have. So, um, if not, you might want to read up on it and check it out. But otherwise, watch my video and I'll try and explain a little bit what the difference is between SLC, MLC, and TLC. Alright, so first we have to understand the definition of SLC, MLC, and TLC. So SLC means single level cell. That means it stores one bit of information per cell. MLC, which is multi-level cell, stores two bits of information per cell. And then TLC, which means triple level cell, stores three bits of information per cell. Um, so MLC, by storing one bit of information per cell, will actually last longer than TLC or MLC. MLC is kind of in the middle. Um, it's got fairly decent durability. Um, plus it's not too expensive either. Like SLC is really expensive. Um, TLC and MLC are very fairly comparable. Um, especially like I seen on Black Friday. They were pretty much almost the same for price. So. Anyway, that's uh, the definition of SLC, MLC, and TLC. So what makes SLC last longer, as far as being an SSD drive, is it just has, writes one bit of data per cell. So it's like trying to basically find a CD in a stack of CDs. It's a lot easier when you only have one, okay? So you're writing one bit of data, to your spindle. I don't really have an empty spindle, but say so you're just taking this little bit, putting it on here, or taking it off, just one disc at a time. It's easy, you don't have to look through a lot of stuff, and that's why it can last longer. Uh, MLC, you have two discs, basically, think of it that way, two bits of data per cell. Um, you're looking through two discs each time. A little more complicated, still doable, but you're going to get tired quicker trying to look through two discs every time somebody's asking you a question or asking you for a disc or a bit of data as far as we're concerned with a computer. Um, TLC, triple level cell. Now you have three discs to look through every time. So instead of just having one, you have three. So imagine you forgot your car keys somewhere. Would you rather have one place to look all the time or would you rather have three spots to check all the time? Granted, you're not going to lose your car keys that much, so it's probably no big deal, but if it's something you're doing every second of the day, or like umpteen times a day, um, it'd make it a lot easier just to have one spot to look rather than three. So I hope that kind of simplifies it for you guys, um, makes it a little easier to explain. Um, sure, a lot of people probably have a better explanation out there, but that's just my explanation of how it works. So let's take a look at uh, the actual life cycle and how long they're estimated to last. Okay, so SLC SSD drives, um, they're rated for roughly 100,000 PE cycles, which is programmed and erased cycles. So basically writing something to a uh, sector and then erasing it. So you're writing and erasing, think of it that way. So it's rated, oops, <laughs> so it's rated for 100,000 cycles. Um, MLC is rated, and you'll see this is a big difference here. MLC is rated for 3,000 cycles. So that's uh, 33 times less than SLC. SLC is for like uh, basically corporate stuff. I mean, somebody that's really going to be writing a lot of data and erasing a lot of data to the drives all the time. 
Um, they are quite a bit more uh, expensive too. So keep that in mind when you're looking. Um, not very many consumer SSD drives are SLC, if any, that I have seen. Um, sure there are some out there, but most of them are going to be MLC or TLC. So TLC is rated for 1000 PE cycles and that's roughly a third of what the MLC is. So when you start looking at the actual lifespan, and the lifespan is if you're writing 10 gigs of data per day, okay, and it's based on um, it's based on a 128 gig SSD drive. So if you have a 256 gig SSD drive, you're going to actually double the amount of years. If that makes sense to you guys. So SLC would last roughly 600 years, somewhere in there, for a lifespan. If you're only writing 10 gigs of data per day. If you're writing 20 gigs of data per day, take that and divide it by 2 or not two, what the hell am I saying? Go go uh, in half, so it'd be roughly 300 years. Uh, MLC, same thing. This is for a 128 gig SSD drive. You're looking at 35 years at 10 gigs per day. Now you go 20 gigs per day, and you're down to 17.5 years. Uh, TLC, 10 gigs a day. You're looking at 11.7 years. Uh, divide that by two if you're writing more data, going 20 gigs a day, which is a lot of data to be writing per day, honestly. And you would be at, what, 5.85 5 uh, right? Something like that. So, yeah, but now then, this is for a 128 gig SSD drive. So now if you went to a 256 gig SSD drive, you'd be right back to... The eleven point seven years. This one you'd be back up to thirty five years. And this one you would be back up to six hundred years. And that's at twenty gigs per day. Now if you're at uh two hundred and fifty six gig SSD drive at ten gigs a day, you could double that to twelve hundred years. You double that to 70 years, and you could double that to 23.4, or yeah, 23.4 years, something like that. Whatever. Anyway, I was kind of tired, but hopefully that'll give you guys a uh, good understanding of the lifespan out of these drives that you're looking at. So SSD drives, um, if you're not using them for like business purposes, stuff like that, you're just using them for home computing and you're not writing and erasing every day on them, um, they should last plenty long. I mean by the time they go bad you're gonna wanna upgrade to a new computer anyway. So, Alright, well check out my channel guys. Hopefully this explains uh, what SLC, MLC, and TLC is. And stay tuned for more videos. Remember, favorite, like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it if I get the likes because it helps me out, guys. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys later.